One can tell that there is a sense of holiness and reflection as you walk into Namgongo Shrine. These are part of the pilgrims that are waiting here for the celebration on Tuesday. At the Anglican Shrine, this hut bears the statue of the man Mukajanga, who was the chief executioner of the 22 martyrs on 3rd June 1886. And instead of what would be pain and anger exhibited towards this man, pilgrims are instead finding a sense of belonging and reflection. They believe his actions were the reason Christianity in Uganda is so strong today. At the Catholic Shrine, pilgrims camp in their respective groups. It was a moment of joy for these ones from Hoima, who even with the visible exhaustion on their faces could not hold back the excitement. <laughs> With just three days to the big day, this year's hosts from Cotido Diocese are resting in Seta, where they will begin the final journey to the shrine tomorrow. Some were seen massaging their feet from the long walk. <laughs> Meanwhile, prayers for the canonization of Mwalimu Julius Nyerere are in high gear, and President Museveni is expected to be in attendance on Sunday. Nyerere's widow, Maria, has been making the pilgrimage to Uganda every year from as far back as 2008. Shilandu Wuchere, NTV Namgongo.